We're going to be collecting and staging roughly 100 corals today that we're going to then take out to Snapper Ledge and try to plant. First time's at the nursery, cleaning, getting corals ready to go out there. As soon as we get that done, we're going to get up in the boat, drive out to Snapper Ledge, start planting. All right, we're jumping in. When we were a fledgling little organization trying to find somebody that would pay attention to us, Disney paid attention, they gave us a grant. They have funded our program for five years now. We're a marine studies class at Coral Shores High School. We're learning about like corals and what kind of effects there are on them in the ocean. For us especially, this is our home. This is uh, a big part of our economy. Fish and other organisms depend on these corals, and we just need to do what we can as uh, Keys residents to help out. The beauty of the reef is just one of the greatest things about it. I mean, I love coming out here and getting to see everything that I get to see, and I want other people to be able to see that too. Guys, the pool is open. Let's go diving. The idea of fragmenting and transplanting corals came from the aquarium industry, and I was in that business. I just kind of realized, hey, if they can do it in an aquarium, maybe I can do it in the ocean. We cut them into little pieces, put monofilament around them, suspend them from a tree is what we call them. And uh, after about six months to a nine months, that coral is uh, ready to go out on the reef. The corals that we brought up are actually going to be transported in these white bins to another reef. And what we're going to do is epoxy them to the reef. When we plant them, we put them in these thickets, and what that's going to allow is when these corals start growing, they're going to continue to fuse into one another and create this really great 3D habitat and structure for all these reef fishes and little invertebrates. It's really awesome. We're focusing in the Caribbean on mostly staghorn and elkhorn coral. They used to be common throughout the Caribbean, and they're about 90 to 95 percent of them have died over the last 30 years. All coral reefs are under a lot of stress. There's overfishing, changing climate, which is causing the summers to be warmer. All of them are a problem, but we have an opportunity now to make a difference and, and to, to change the course of coral reefs. We like to involve students of all ages. If we can get these kids involved at an early age, you know, high school, there's a lot of kids that after going through a year of our program, they're ready to change their major and become you know, marine biologist or marine policy people or whatever it is, and so that's that's exciting for us. We give them an idea of why we've got a problem, and then we give them a little bit of uh, what we're doing to help solve that, and let them actually realize that they're sort of writing the next chapter in this. We study all this stuff in the classroom, but then they get to come out here and get their hands right into the middle of it and see what's going on firsthand. I don't think you can get any better experience than that. There you go. We've given them an appreciation for nature, and we're trying to give this message of hope and a message of there's something that can be done. So thank you, Disney, for all of your support. And thank you all the Disney patrons for supporting this program.